Not gonna lie, this news actually kind of brought a little tear to my eye. Yep. Sup guys, this is the Power Up Mushroom, and yeah, it's been a while since I've done a news video, so I thought, why not talk about this? Not really gaming related, kinda is, kinda not, but you know, it still has to do with a lot of our childhood. Yeah, so Toys R Us right now, they're planning to liquidate their business, and essentially that could... Obviously, I think that means it's going to lead to it closing down all of its stores. It's assumed by a lot of people because just recently, Toys R Us did go bankrupt. They closed 800, I believe, of their stores or whatever. And now they're going to go ahead and close the rest of them. Now, this is pretty sad news concerning, like, I've always gone to Toys R Us for a lot of, like, a lot of my childhood. I would go there for my toys, games, whatever. And I'm sure a lot of people have. A lot of people who are adults now, we've... We all of us have gone to Toys R Us. I'm pretty sure most of y'all hopefully have taken y'all's kids there. But if you haven't, now's the time because you can kind of tell your kids like, hey, this place used to be packed. And right now, no, all the stores are dead. Literally, they are dead. Now, I live in Vegas. Uh, essentially, like the Toys R Us stores, they're not, they're not really in a good locations. I've seen a couple of stores closed down here in Vegas. Um, we do have one that I know that uh, it's still in business, but... They're always dead. Toys R Us has never been busy here. You're not like they used to. I remember uh, when I would go to Toys R Us, my parents would take me, grandparents, whoever, uncles, aunts. Uh, when we'd go to Toys R Us, it was like an event. So you go there, it's it was like people were packed. It was almost like a Disneyland trip, you know. People were buying the latest toys. Um, There's a lot of stuff that would go down in a Toys R Us. And it really it was the ultimate place to shop. Now right now, I, I kind of think that Toys R Us is going out of business because a lot of parents now... Uh, now, I'm not calling any parents out, but parents no longer believe in buying their kids toys. They kind of just hand them a tablet, hand them a phone, and the kids have, that's where, you know, they're introduced to video games. I'm not saying that being introduced to video games is bad, but on a tablet or phone, whatever, it's not really the ultimate way to kind of give that kid some imagination, you know? So obviously, you know, the kid, when they get the tablet, you know, that's really all they need. If you want to shut the kid up, you just hand them the tablet and you're just like, here, play with that thing essentially i think that's what killed toys r us because why would you want to go buy your kids toys you're saving yourself money by just handing your kid a tablet and you know back then we didn't obviously yeah kids we didn't have tablets tablets we had we made that stuff up but we saw that tablet in star trek or something we got a little cardboard box cut it out and like just we play with it for a little bit or like creating your own stories and a lot of that stuff is like with toys you play with toys you buy toys you'd beg your parent your mom dad grandparent if your mom and dad said no you'd go to your grandparents your grandparents would always say yeah they, always and then you'd kind of you you know you get the toy and you'd have fun with it usually it was always a toy from a movie cartoon or something you'd have fun with it me i was transformers and hot wheels are my thing that those are the things that like if i went to toys r us i was looking for a transformer that was usually only sold at toys r us and they were they, they were awesome freaking loved transformers and it's kind of sad now that I think about it when I because I'm not buying Transformers anymore. I buy maybe like maybe one, two a year or something. You know, the really good ones. I actually have a Megatron up there. I really liked the uh, I think it was what? Uh, it looks like it's from the Combiner Wars series, the tra uh, Megatron. Uh, he looked really awesome because he reminded me of the 1980s. Megatron, you know, the one from the original Transformers movie. I got that one, then I have like an Optimus Prime. I get the real big Transformers, you know, the the cool ones. And it's kind of sad now that I think about it that if I want to buy a Transformer, it's not really, I'm going to go to Toys R Us and find the rare one. It looks like I'm going to have to go to like Amazon or Walmart. And this kind of begs the question that like, if Toys R Us is going out of business, obviously, yeah, there's going to be a lot of sales, guys. So yeah, kind of go shop there right now. I'm just saying, just saying, um... You should probably go shop there because there's going to be a lot of sales. But for a lot of toy developers, Toys R Us was kind of the place that's keeping them in business. And this is actually going to be a huge blow to the toy industry. That, In my mind, I think this is going to be pretty big. Toys R Us being one of the biggest companies to sell toys, you know, that's all they sell is just toys. That's it. For them to be going out of business, that means that all the toy manufacturers, there's going to be some people that they're not going to be around anymore. That, like that's it this is their last shot you know like there's no toys in the industry industry that's catching kids eyes um like i said parents you're just handing them your kids tablets you're not really giving kids a chance to kind of play with toys use their imagination it, that's really what you did as a kid you get buy some toys and you have some major crossovers like star wars and transformers they would cross over and stuff like 
that was where I saw the Transformers movie, not the Michael Bay stuff that came out. But stuff like that, you, like you have uh, all these toy develop like companies, they're they're not going to be around anymore. It's kind of like almost an extinction, almost I feel for all, a lot of toy inventors, anybody who's come up with a new idea for toys. Toys R Us, you're not going to like they're not going to be relying on Toys R Us anymore. I think that toy developers, if anything, they're going to have to go to like Amazon, maybe Walmart, Target. Really, not the best place to go and buy toys. Uh, it's just it's more of just kind of a. That's a terrible place. That's like, that's like if your major, well, obviously the major game retailer store in the United States is GameStop. If they went out of business, which wouldn't be a bad thing. Um, but let's just say that the only place to buy a video game is GameStop. And you go to Walmart, Target, they're small selections. They're not really big selections, you know. But GameStop has all of them. Let's just say GameStop was the god company that we've always wanted, all right. And let's just say that we hear tomorrow that, yeah, GameStop is going out of business because of all the digital sales. Um, all those physical copies of games and stuff, you're not going to be able to buy them anymore. You're going to have to like get lucky, find them at a Target or a Walmart, or maybe if some retro store is carrying them, or you're going to have to buy them from an official website. There's no longer that accessibility to go there and buy the game. Some people might just pass up a game in general because why? Why? Why would you go? Like if you know you took your main source and it's not there anymore, they took it away, it's gone. You, there's really no point in like going through a bunch of trouble to buy a game. Yeah, you could buy it online, but then you need to have a credit card. It's not as easy because then kids could just walk in into a GameStop and just hand a you know the cashier, here's twenty bucks, you know, I want that game and they give give you the game and you know you go go home. People who aren't real tech savvy, you know, usually they just go to the store. Um they don't feel like ordering anything online. That's how it would be. And it's kinda like essentially the same thing with Toys R Us. Toys Toys R Us is the place where you go to buy toys. That's the biggest place to buy toys. We're getting that taken away from us now. Now we're going to have to rely on like third parties. Amazon, Walmart, Target. Uh, online stores. Hopefully the toy companies have online stores. If it's not a well-known toy company. Then unless you're Hasbro. I, I, I think you're going to be going out of business. Unless you're like Hasbro or Lego or something like that. Because you're not going to be getting that advertisement. You're not going to be able to just. Uh, you know, have that accessibility to just throw your brand new toy on there and make a name for yourself at a Toys R Us store. Now, of course, this is not to say that Toys R Us is the only place that sells toys, but it's the major place that sells toys, you know? So, places like Toys R Us, they're just not going to be... It's going to suck, since they they will be going out of business. That That's for a fact that I'm pretty sure they're going to be closing down all their stores. It's pretty sad, but all those limited editions that you guys had from Toys R Us or something, you might want to hold on to them now because... the Hey, it, it might be worth something later. Who knows? Who knows? Not saying that you should get money hungry. But anyways, those are my thoughts on Toys R Us. It is it is really sad. If you guys have any memories on Toys R Us, like, just leave them in the comments section below. Um, I don't know. I kind of want to share my stories, but then I take long, long story times just telling you guys about Toys R Us stories and stuff like that. But it definitely was. As a kid, it was the place to go and just, you know, enjoy yourself. It was always an adventure. Even if you didn't buy anything, you got to go there, see all the brand new toys that came out and stuff. Uh, beg your parents and never get what you want. Because a lot of the toys, they, they are pretty expensive. I don't know what went wrong with Toys R Us. I think maybe they upped their prices too much. Because uh, some stuff is pretty expensive. But maybe they're just not, there's something wrong. They're doing something wrong and they're just not selling. Me personally, I do think it is the tablet situation with the kids. Um, parents just aren't buying their kids toys anymore. Uh, so we'll, we'll see, who knows, we'll, we'll see what happens with toys, see if they go out, you know, fashion, which I think they kind of are now, but I still enjoy them. I still enjoy them. I'm definitely going to like, I'll still be going to Toys R Us. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Remember, like I said, leave a comment on your experience with Toys R Us. What are your thoughts on it? Closing, make a video response if you'd like. Um, and I'll leave a link in the description to the article down below that you guys can read it in black and white in case you guys don't believe me because yeah, it is pretty hard to believe and it is sad. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. And if you guys, well, God, I, I keep on doing the upvote thing. That VidMe thing got me so messed up. I'm still recovering from it. Sorry, VidMe's gone. But anyways... Thank you guys for watching. I remember guys, when you guys are gaming, power up.